Hi, this is Craig at Summit Racing. We just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to get an adjustment off of TrickFlow's 9000 and 9500 series pushrod length checkers. This video is going to assume you already know how to start by adjusting the length of the checking tool to the length of your last pushrod and marking your valve stem in order to get a proper contact pattern off the valve tip and or setting of the adjuster screw for shaft rocker applications. There are a few different variations and methods depending on your rocker mount style. For example, pushrod length affects the geometry in a rocker stud application, whereas it sets the location of the adjuster screw in a shaft rocker application, and lifter preload in a bolt down rocker application. Detailed instruction PDFs can be found on the part pages for both TFS 9000 and 9500. If you're using a TFS 9000, you'll measure the overall length of the checker with calipers or a height gauge. If you're using a TFS 9501, you'll want to turn the tip back closed, counting each rotation until fully closed. Then you'll add that number to the base length listed on the checker. On this tool, each turn equals 50 thousandths of an inch. So for example, three full turns adds 150 thousandths of an inch to the base length of the checker. If you're using a hydraulic lifter, then you'll want to add the amount of preload required. If you're using a solid lifter with lash, then you'll need to divide your desired lash by the rocker ratio and subtract that from your measurement. If you have a long set of calipers, you can verify the measurement. It's important to understand that the measured length will not match the length of your pushrod you purchase. You must subtract approximately 17 thousandths of an inch in order to get the gauge length. This diagram shows the different length measurements commonly used. The first measurement is known as the theoretical length. This measurement includes the arc over the pushrod oiling hole, which no longer physically exists. A more important measurement is the overall length. This measurement is the physical measurement you'll get when you measure with calipers or a height gauge, and it is from this measurement that you'll need to subtract your 17 thousandths of an inch from in order to get your length at gauge diameter. And the length at gauge diameter is the length that you'll either add your lifter preload to or subtract your lash divided by the rocker ratio from. Here are some example equations for using both checking tools with hydraulic lifters, then with solid lifters. The first two examples are determining pushrod length with hydraulic lifters and preload. First we'll do the 9000 series checker, part number TFS 9000. Now the 9000 series checker is just an adjustable pushrod. You adjust it close to the length you need or to the length of the pushrod you're replacing. Then it's just trial and error until you get the correct centered pattern you want on the end of your valve stem. Once you get that pattern, then you'll measure TFS 9000 with calipers or a height gauge. In the diagram we showed you earlier, this measurement would be the overall length. So you'll start by taking your measured length and subtracting 17 thousandths of an inch from it. Then you'll add the preload. So 7.417 is your measured length. Subtract 17 thousandths of an inch, then add your preload, which is 75 thousandths of an inch. This comes out to a length of 7.475 inches. Next we'll do this using the 9500 series checker, part number TFS 9501. Now with this length checker, you don't have to measure it once you get the length you need. The guys at TrickFlow built this length checker so that one full turn of the end equals 50 thousandths of an inch. In order to make this easy to see, there's a dotted line printed across the end. They also printed the base and maximum lengths on the side. It ranges from 6.8 to 7.8 inches. So you'll start by taking the checker's base length and then adding the number of full turns you are out from the base length multiplied by the inches of length per turn, then adding the preload. So the base length of the checker is 6.8 inches. Then you add the 12 rotations you turn the tip times 50 thousandths of an inch. Then add your preload of 75 thousandths of an inch, and we get our length of 7.475. The next two examples are how to determine length with solid lifters and lash. For TFS 9000, we'll take our measured length of 7.417 inches, subtracting 17 thousandths, then subtracting the lash of 15 thousandths, divided by the rocker arm ratio of 1.6. This gives us a length of 7.390. For the TFS 9501, we'll take the checker base length of 6.8 inches and add the 12 full turns multiplied by 50 thousandths, then subtract the lash of 15 thousandths divided by the rocker arm ratio of 1.6 to give us the same number as the 9000, 
which is 7.390. If a push rod that measures the exact number of your final measurement doesn't exist, select one that's closest to your measurement. 